truth is, not a bad vehicle. But, see, it needs work and parts. The work, I can do, but the parts, you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to help. Sound good? Okay, see you back here when you get the parts. Need some parts for that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small price. Afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dev and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get a bit. Won't be easy taking on bandits on their own turf. Here, take some fat boys for your pistols. That ammo kicks some real. In case you run into any locked doors, take these plans to build a lock grinder. They do exactly as their name says. Good luck. This whole area. Are you gonna look, are you gonna like go through all that, uh, footage you got? Run away! Run away! 
That episode of Bash TV last night. Fuck yeah! Are you? Pull oh! back! Pull it back! I'll get you! Right over there!
about going down into that sewer, are you? Those sewers are dangerous, you hear me? Dangerous! Got mutants down there hoarding everything they can find. I hear it's good stuff, too. Stuff taken from people they kill. Listen, don't you go trekking around down there without some serious firepower. God only knows what might be waiting for you. Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need something. How do you like that buggy? It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck.
You being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just gonna attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there.
Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dress like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit, as long as no one sees you in it again. You blend in, understand? Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, you have another little chance. Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. You best keep as low a profile as you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. <laughs> a man from the past walks through my door and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something, uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. A man with taste, I see. An excellent selection. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. Care to trade? doing business with you. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we've got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, Go see Sheriff Black. 
He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our sheriff. Well, well, well. How'd it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal, fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, yeah, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Sure I saw. Mutants. Ten, twenty of them. All over that valley. That's why you'll never get me. Let me guess. You're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. Now, I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see if you get some firepower. you need to keep your vehicle working, right? Now listen, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you want to deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. Hey, my friend. I must say, you do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why not try your luck on the track and earn some racing certificates? Trust me, they can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the impresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed. Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. Now, just take a look at all the events we have here, find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> but everyone needs those. Interested in winning some racing certificates? Say.
Look no further than here for all your vehicle needs. See anything you like? Drive like you mean it, friend. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Enough. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here, if people don't know. Johnson is celebrating his 60th birthday today. You a mighty fine driver there. Reminds me of myself when I was your age. See you ditch that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors, so I want you to have my pride and joy the Desert Striker crossbow. Not your typical bow, it has twice the punch. And no one will hear you use it. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an Ark survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. <laughs> 